Hello folks, I'm Ryder Boost and in this brief video I will show how to download, install and use Pipe Network Catalog for EU Market that I have created a couple of years ago and I have kept it updated for new Autodesk Civil 3D versions. So now it's updated for 2020 release but in similar way you can actually install and use it in another versions. So first of all, you need to go to apps.autodesk.com, log in to your Autodesk account, search Pipe Network Catalog for EU Market, and after logging in, you can download installation file. After that, I will minimize my this screen. You should have a simple setup.exe file, which you can fire up to install additional content. So I will do that as well, double click, and then first license agreement, will be shown, I accept the agreement, I hit next, and then an important part is coming up, because in here you can actually select to where you want to copy or install this content pack, because I'm using Civil 3D 2020, this is my target folder, and of course I can show you if I copy this and do use File Explorer, then this is the location to where additional content will be saved. But keep in mind that you can actually install it to any location, even to network drive, which is accessible while using Civil 3D. So default location, I hit next. Of course, it will ask to confirm that this folder already exists. No worries, it should not overwrite anything right now. So I hit yes, destination location, so and install. After installation, a brief screen will be shown and Click finish to exit setup, finish. If I go back to folder I showed previously, you should now have three subfolders, EU pipes, EU structures and EU support files. From EU support files, you can see additional content of Suridma and from EU pipes and structures, from these folders, you can actually target to content that can be used in Civil 3D 2020. You can also see uninstallation, so you can hit uninstall and remove those folders. Or you can do that also from Program Manager, like typing in Pipe Network and uninstall Autodesk Civil 3D Pipe Network Catalog for European market. I will fire up my Civil 3D 2020 metric version, because this content pack is metric only and show how you can start using this content pack. There are no big differences in terms of which content pack you want to start using. The procedure, how to set up and how to start using it is really similar. Once my Civil 3D user interface has been loaded, I prefer to start from a new drawing and selecting default template. So I close this drawing one if I have it open. I go to C, then New, and I select default Civil 3D metric template. Please keep in mind that sometimes you do need to update those template files also to new version. For example, in this video I'm using 2020 release. So I hit open and the next part will be to assign this new content pack to my drawing. I can do that going to Home tab, Create Design and Set Pipe Network Catalog. From this list, I can select Pipe Catalog like EU Pipes and Structure Catalog like EU Structures. Keep in mind that uh, this is a default location to where this content pack was installed. If you used some other default location, then you should change and search for it. But those names should be same, EU pipes and EU structures. So I hit OK and then I prefer to save my drawing. I save it to my desktop and maybe give a name like pipe network demo save. Then once I have pointed to new content pack, I go to settings, pipe network, parts lists, right click and create parts list. I can give a new name like EU content pipes Right click Add Part Family and you should see straight away from this point forward new content pack. 
Sometimes it may happen and it's not an uh, issue of content pack, but sometimes depend on which template you may be used, that you do need to restart Civil 3D after pointing to new catalog. But as you see in this example, no magic. If I select new content, it should be available from this screen already. For this demo, I simply select some pipe content. Of course, once you start selecting, you can see a preview image and you can also find from a web page what kind of pipe diameters are available in each section. So maybe I will select this PE PM16 type of pipe. I hit OK and then I do right click, add part size. I select all sizes hit OK and I can see also which sizes are available. Of course, you can add multiple types, but I go forward and also select some structures from this new content pack. Again, right click new parts list, add part family. And again, I should see new content from this content pack that was installed additionally. It is really simple catalog divided into two big groups like access and inlet structures. So maybe I select some inlet structure, hitting OK, and then right click add part size and also selecting all sizes, hitting OK. This is it. Of course, it's possible to add pay item and the sample file is included with installation, but I will skip it right now. So apply and OK. And I do have my new parts lists definition. So let's test it out. Of course, in my case, I do it in a really simple way. I don't have any surface, but it doesn't really matter if you want to test if this content pack is suitable for your workflows. So to be able to draw those pipes and structures, again, common workflow, pipe network, pipe network creation tools, maybe network name, network parts list, I select EU content, I don't have any surface or alignment, so I hit OK, and then I select this new inlet structure. And if you see a similar error, it simply means that in your installation, you don't have those special templates available. So let's do a quick fix for that, which means of course that I will close down my tools, I will also close my drawing, I hit yes, I close also my Civil 3D and I now go to EU support files. So from here I can see templates and in terms of those new structures, you also obviously need new templates so to define the shape of it. Those should be added to your default templates location and I will just open up a new instance of my file explorer as well. I copy this path, OK, and I go up a couple of times. Then instead of pipes catalog, I select content library. And in here I can find the templates, which has a similar structure. But obviously those are valid for default content packs. So what I suggest to do is to have a backup copy of this templates folder. This is coming from default installation. So maybe I just do a zip file just in case I do have now zipped version and now I simply select from EU support files this templates folder and paste it. Of course it may ask do you want to replace? Yes I do. Now this step is done so I can go back to my Civil 3D and try again. So I fire up my Civil 3D 2020, I open up my previously saved file and then let's try again. Pipe network, pipe network creation tools, EU demo, EU content, no surface, no alignment, hitting OK. I select my diameter of new structure, then I select some pipe diameter and I ensure that pipes and structures is selected and trying to add just new structure with a pipe. I hit escape. I also close down this network layout tools. If I go to isometric or 3D view, I can see my new structure and my pipe. I can check which parameters are coming from the catalog. So I select my structure, right click and structure properties. 
I can scroll down and I can see section part data, which is directly associated with this content pack and defined, or those parameters are defined in that content pack. So a lot more information, which can be reused also in labels or taking out some takeoffs. I hit cancel and I can do also the same thing with my pipe. I select my pipe, right click and pipe properties. Again, part properties. I scroll down and in section part data, I can see a lot more information. For example, part size name, also wall thickness, which is directly associated with pipe P and class. So wall thickness and obviously in a pipe diameter and some coefficients also, all defined in this content pack. And that's why those are grayed out. So I hit console and I go to my top view and I can easily show that actually those additional, let's say, those parameters can be also visualized. Meaning that I select my pipe, right click and edit pipe style. I go to display tab. I select that I want to show also pipe centerline and outside pipe balls. I keep the same color. I hit OK. And now I can see that all crucial pipe lines are visible and you can easily select which one to show and which one you don't want to have. But this is really coming from a content pack and obviously if you are exporting this data, for example, to storm and sanitary analysis, especially pipe inside diameter will go to that product because in there you want to have inner pipe diameter for hydraulic calculations. Now, this video was all about the basics, how to use and what additional options you have if you prefer to use this new pipe network content pack on top of CV3D 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to get notifications about my new videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be the first to get those notifications about my new videos. Happy using and bye bye!